This is an English guide to learn Swedish. Hello and welcome back. I know I'm like the worst hypocrite ever, saying that I will do two episodes each month and then not do a single one in over a year. But that's how it is. Sorry. I can perhaps comfort you with the fact that more episodes are coming and I haven't given up on this project. I also know that it's a very very high experience curve on these videos. But my purpose has never been to fully teach you Swedish, only to give you an understanding of it. The bulk of practicing is something you have to do on your own. I also expect that people who are serious about this, if there are any, will rewatch the videos many times to really get it. As promised though, I will now start taking you through some grammar. In this episode we will look at the two grammatical genders of Swedish, which will be at the foundation of all nouns and how you inflect them. There are two genders, N genders and T genders. Each noun has one gender. Some word has both. And in Swedish they are two words but with the exact same meaning. Examples of this are the Swedish words for that, this, the and one. In Swedish you have the words en and ett, both meaning one. You use en or ett depending on the gender of the noun. An n gender noun will be preceded by n, while a t gender noun will be preceded by ett. We will in later episodes talk more about how to distinguish t and n gender nouns, but for now we will only focus on n and ett. There's no way to just look at an indefinite singular noun and tell what gender it is. That can only be done with a lot of practice. Here are at least a few examples, starting with N nouns. En gurka. En flicka. En krona. En övning. En kompis. And some T nouns. Ett hus. Ett äpple. Ett barn. Ett frimärke. That's all I had for this time. This takes a lot of practice, and to learn this, you have to expose yourself to a lot of Swedish. Next time we will start looking at declinations of nouns, how to get from one noun to many nouns. Thank you for watching.